Hello guys and welcome to Power BI Zone. Today we are going to see some of the Power BI scenario based interview questions and answers. This interview questions and answers is both for experienced as well as freshers. So the first scenario based interview question that the interviewer might ask you is how can you extract a user name from the email address using DAX? A catch in this particular question is you have to accomplish this using DAX because there are easier way to accomplish this as well let me tell you using transform data you can split the column and you can achieve this so let us go ahead and see what I am trying to tell you so first of all we will go to the Power BI file so guys this is the email address column that we are talking about so let me just zoom this a bit here yeah, guys so this is the question so we are having an email address column and all the email address is having an at the rate right so you have this at the rate symbol everywhere in your email address for all the rows right so now the ask is you have to extract whatever comes before the email address that is your username so if I take the first case you have to extract Latasha 19 or Larry 16 Joffrey 16 right so this is the ask we will take this reference and we will create a calculated column so I'll go to new column So the new column that we have created, I'm naming that as username and let me zoom this a bit. Okay, so we want to first of all find the position of the at the rate, right? So we have to use a DAX function called find and after using the find it tells you find text. What do we want to find? We want to find at the rate. Where do we want to find? We want to find it within the email address right so email address and then we will give the position start position so we will give 1 and if it does not find it then we have to give 0 now we will simply go ahead and enter so look it will give you the position where it is going to find the at the rate right so now what we need to do is we have to use another function of DAX on top of find this is known as uh, left L E F T so what does left do it will simply return the specified number of characters from the start of a text string correct so we the text that we need to give left is we have to say that okay give me the email address and from the email address find is going to give you the position so that is the second argument that has to be passed to left so once I go ahead and create this you will see what happens find will just give you the position at which the at the rate is going to occur right which will be the second argument passed to left so left will take the email address comma you will give the position occurrence of at the rate and hence you will get like this so all I need to do is now you see at the rate is occurring at the end for each and every value let me zoom this a bit so you see over here whatever I have done after that you are seeing the at the rate at the end right for all the occurrence so how can I remove this at the rate I have to give a minus one in the position so I'll just go over here so find ends over here after find find will return a number so I'm just giving minus one right whatever number it returns minus one so now you will see even the at the rate will be going away so look now there is no at the rate let me zoom this correct so you're getting the username so hope this answers the first interview question let us go to the next interview question that we have and guys these are all going to be scenario based right so no theory based questions I'll be discussing in this video so the next scenario based interview question is how to clear all the selected filters by clicking on an image or a button so the interviewer will ask you that okay I am giving you a button you have to just click the button and whatever filters you have selected it should show all okay so let me give you the example so guys what do I mean by this you are having this particular English product name one of the chart visuals that I have placed and the other I have placed a simple table right so over here just focus on the slicers you are having slicers let me zoom this a bit you are having slicers based on product line English product name this one and model name now notice 
multiple selections are there for each and every slicer right so if i select this particular slicer it is i have only selected all purpose bike stand right and i have selected fender set mountain these are the two values which are selected not all if you go to the model name if you uh, see i have selected two hence it is showing multiple selections but i have not selected fender set mountain what should happen is as soon as i click this particular image which i have imported by the way as soon as i click this image what it should do it should always clear all these face slicers and it should show all for everything so first of all i have let me uh, just go you, go ahead and show you how i have imported this image so if you go ahead and go do a google search for clear all filters you will in power bi you will get this particular image after you have got the image all you need to do is go to insert go to image and then this particular image you have to bring to power bi right so this will be inserted now i'll just beautifully place this image i'll make this a bit small and place it just near to my filters okay which will clearly indicate that this is the clear all filter right so now what i need to do i will be using bookmarks and selections go to view enable both your bookmarks and selection page let me hide the filters a bit and let me hide the fields also for now we'll be using mainly selections and bookmarks under the selection page you have got all the objects that you have uh, you know dragged and dropped in this particular page so i have got three slicers which is slicer 1 slicer 2 slicer 3 i've got one table which is this and i've got this particular sum of sales amount chart and i've got this particular image so you'll see all these particular objects you are going to see in the selection now what i'll do i'll try to save the state of this page how what what do i want once i click on the button i want to see all right so i'll just clear all the filters from here i'll clear all the filters from here i'll clear all the filters from here right so you are going to see the entire data so all 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 right everywhere i have selected all now i what i'll do i'll just go ahead i'll create a bookmark so i'll say clear all filters right so once this is there you have to go ahead and click on update right once you have clicked on update you will just hide your selection and your bookmark you will click on this particular image and you will go to format you will say action turn it on and type you will give bookmark and under bookmark you will say clear all filters that means now this particular image is linked to the action of clear all filters and under clear all filters i have saved this right so now let's see the magic that will happen okay now let's say i change my product line i just select m right again if i go ahead and click on this do a control click on this see it's changing back to all again if i select m if i select s multiple selections right over here i'll select all product bike stand i'll select from model name let's say all purpose bike stand right i hope this is clear let me just zoom this a bit okay so i have selected something in my product line something in my english product name and something in my model number now if i simply do a control click on this image you see everything is getting selected to all so this was the requirement hope okay hope this answers the second interview question now let us go to the third scenario based interview question so for the third interview question how do you display the slicers selected value okay let us see this this is a very simple thing so what is the ask the interviewer is telling you whenever he is choosing one value in the slicer you should see the corresponding value displayed in your report in the form of a card so this is a slicer and remember this is going to be a card that i have selected very simply you will be using this selected value dax okay i hope you are able to see this so i am using the financials country column in my slicer and i am using a dax called selected value so inside the selected value i am passing simply the financials country this is an alternative result so what happens if you don't, no one uh, if none of the value is selected at that time this particular alternate results will get displayed so let's say if i do not select anything right at that time i am getting this please select a single country so i'll select a single country correct so the dax again let us take a look at the dax it is selected value and inside selected value you will pass the column 
right this is a very simple ask hopefully this particular interview question is also clear let us move to the fourth scenario based interview question you are having two buttons basically click button 1 to go to page 1 and click button 2 to go to page 2 this is also pretty much simple guys this will be achieved so let me go ahead and show you uh, you go to insert and then let us create simply two buttons I have inserted a blank button over here and I'll go to style and under text I will write page A right I'll just copy paste this control C control V I'll just copy paste this and I'll say this as page B right and let me create simply a page A over here and simply page B over here right maybe in page A we will quickly give a table and we'll go to fact internet sales gives the and get the total sales amount fine we'll convert that to a bar we go to page B and in page B I'll give a maybe a pie chart and in that pie chart I'll just see the total sales so it's very simple page A is having a bar and page B is having a pie so now I'll go to the main page what I need to do is when I click on page A button it should bring me to page A and when I click on page B button it should bring me to page B very simple formula is there in, uh, in, in Power BI when you click on page A there is something called accents you just need to enable the action and from type you will choose page navigation it will ask you which particular page on the destination you will give page A same process you will repeat for page B also turn on the action type you have to select as page navigation and destination you have to select page B now see the magic which happens if you do a control click page A brings you to page A and page B brings you to page B so hope this answers the fourth scenario based interview question for the last scenario based interview question in Power BI it is saying how can you hide all visuals and see all visuals at the click of a button so there will be two buttons one button will be having hide all visuals and written on it and the other button will be having see all visuals and you'll be having let's say a pie and uh, or a donut and a, a bar chart so when you when I when I click on hide all visuals it will it should hide both the visuals when I see when I click on see all visuals it should show both the visuals so let us try to create this okay guys so very simply I'm having two visuals over here and let me quickly go ahead to insert and let me go ahead and insert two buttons or probably I'll just yes I'll just insert two buttons over here blank button this is going to be my first button and I'll go to style again go to text and I'll say see all and probably increase the size a bit okay I'll copy paste see all and I'll say over here as hide all hide all right so how to accomplish this we will be doing this using a bookmark so obviously we have to go to view and already the bookmarks and selection pane is there for you we will open these two so there are two buttons and two visuals right so what we need to do is we have to create two bookmarks for it so first I'll create the first bookmark I'll say hide right and under hidden what I have to hide both these right so I'll hide my this bar chart and I will hide my this pie as well so this will be empty right so this is how you need to just click on this and update again you'll add one more bookmark and in this bookmark you will say show all right and in the show all what you have to do you have to keep these okay you do not hide these two and then again you say update so now if I go to hide there's all this both the visuals are hidden if you go to show all both these visuals are being shown properly so now all you have to do is 
the bookmarks is created perfectly all you have to do is select this particular button and go to actions see all should be the type should be bookmark and bookmark is show all right similarly you'll select this particular button you'll go to actions enable the actions you'll select type equal to bookmark and you'll say hide right so now let's see if this works or not so if i see uh, uh, now everything is seen so if i just do a control click and hide all look it is getting hidden if i click control click on see all both the visuals are being shown so guys hopefully you are able to answer all these scenario based interview questions guys if you like my videos do not forget to subscribe to my channel and also if you have any questions related to these power bi scenario based interview questions and answers do let me know through your comments have a nice day bye bye